Hi everyone, Dr. Steven Hess here from ResourceYourHealth.com. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about why it doesn't make sense that animal foods in our diet would cause heart disease from an evolutionary perspective. Now, I wrote a blog about this recently, so if you want all the details and all the citations, uh, go check out that, that latest blog post. So basically, we have to start about 2.5 million years ago. Uh, around that time, uh, the pre-human uh, hominin that was around uh, was called Australopithecus. Um, and so that was the only uh, pre-human um, thing around. And then it split into two things. It split into a species called Paranthropus and it split into the genus Homo, which would eventually become us. Uh, and the big difference between the two is that Paranthropus started, kept eating plants. Uh, and they developed this really developed jaw muscle so they could chew fibrous plants and things. Uh, and Homo started eating animals. Uh, so we see evidence around that time that, that humans were hunting and killing animals, large mammals, uh, and largely getting the, all the calories from, from those mammals. And so what we see during that time is that the genus Homo, um, you know, the various different species of it, the Homo erectus, Homo habilis, uh, Homo Heidelberg, Heidel, heidelbergensis, um, they all, you know, were getting bigger brains, they were getting bigger in stature, um, and they were, um, anywhere they showed up on the map, um, and large animals were dying. Um, now there's also some evidence that the, the Ice Age, uh, the uh, warming up of the planet around that time also caused these animals to die. But we were definitely killing them as well. And so, because we were eating them, uh, these are these are the uh, this is the behavior. Eating these animals is what made us human. That's what made us who we are today. So, you know, humans didn't evolve to eat animals. We evolved because we ate animals um, to what we are today. And so, th that right there, um, you know, makes you wonder. You know, how could how could a diet that made us who we are literally cause heart disease uh, or be the cause of heart disease? This doesn't make sense. Anyways, um, what happened from that time? So, you know, for, for 2.5 million years, um, we were eating animal products, largely animal products. It was a big part of our diet. And then about 10 to 12,000 years ago, uh, we started farming. And we started farming probably because we killed off that, that food supply that we had been using, um, you know, those large mammals. And so when we started farming, we see the first signs of civilization and all these things. But the first farmers, there's archaeological evidence that they really struggled with their health. Uh, they had poor uh, dental um, conditions. Uh, they had um, they, their bones formed poorly. Uh, they had higher rates of infection. And archaeologists can tell this from studying the bones of these first farmers. And so um, th the thing, though, was is that the infection rates, they were, they were really high. Uh, and that's likely because they weren't uh, relying on the fats, uh, and the fats would increase their cholesterol, as cholesterol fights off infections, and also fats very antimicrobial. And now we were relying on these um, these plant foods, um, these crops, and so um, we weren't able to fight off infections like they were supposed to, and so they were dying of infection. And so um, infection was kind of hiding the long-term effects uh, as far as a as far as a human individual. Uh, is uh, concerned um, for, of eating a diet of, of mainly agricultural plants and crops um, because they were dying of infection too soon for them to realize or for the the, uh, the chronic diseases that come later in age um, to develop and so infection was kind of hiding that from happening and so you know we we were civilizations were the largely farming civilizations like the Egyptians um, are known to have heart disease or were known to have heart disease uh, and they have documentation of that. Uh, and they were a farming culture. You know, they rarely ate meat, uh, and they were relying on the crops like wheat and emer and things like that. And so then, you know, all these societies were were largely um, relying on these plants. Uh, and then around the early 1900s, um, sanitation started to become uh, a big deal, and hygiene. Uh, and we started, and we invented antibiotics in 1928. Um, and so infection was kind of uh, took a back burner, you know, a back seat, um, because we were now getting rid of that. And then all of a sudden, these chronic diseases of aging started to show up, you know, or th they were attributed to aging, uh, like cancer and heart disease and diabetes and all these things. Uh, but they had always been there. Like these metabolic uh, diseases have been there because we were eating the wrong foods. Just that infection was kind of hiding it. And now, it was our, it was now it became an epidemic because we were saving people from infections. Um, but the, the long-term effects as far as an individual lifespan, the long-term effects of eating that diet um, based on uh, plant agriculture uh, was showing up, and it's showing up in the form of the, the heart disease and cancer and, and diabetes epidemic we have today. Um, and so, 
you know, our, our diets as far as westernized countries, especially in America, is very plant-based. Uh, it's based uh, largely on corn and wheat uh, and soy and rice. Those are the those are where we get most of our calories from. It's not from animal products, which people would would um, what some people say. And so, you know, the result of relying on these products uh, has has created this epidemic of chronic disease. So you can see if we trace things back and go way back to actually like the dawn of our species, what made us human, it makes no sense to say that animal products do that because that's the, that's the diet that made us human. It was only when we strayed from that. Um, that we start to get these chronic diseases. And then once we got rid of the infection that was a result of that, we start to see these other chronic diseases happening. Um, so if you like this video, please like and share it. Go check out the blog for all the details and citations. Otherwise, that's it for now. Stay healthy out there.